Hey guys, got another video for you today. We will be doing the dwarf purple isopod culture, how I set up a colony. I will be taking a small culture out of a, an existing colony that I've got. So always, I poke one hole in these. I know that like you'll get them like this with a bunch, but I have an environmentally controlled room, so I need less holes. Less air, just because, you know, I've got the heater and the fan and everything going on right now. Or occasionally, not right now exactly. So, like with the springtails, we'll go ahead and put some ABG mix inside. I will try to pick out as much as I can of the charcoal, just because springtails like that more so I'll go ahead put a little layer of that take an oak leaf that I got from a pack line at Dart Frog Depot I also got the ABG mix from him I will go ahead and put a little bit more cocoa fiber on top of that leaf just to weigh it down a little bit and like I said in the springtail video, you don't have to buy this stuff from people. ABG Mix is basically like a Spanish moss. You can dry out a sheet moss. Uh, it's got bark, cocoa fiber, and charcoal. These are all things that you can make or go outside and get. Bake it in your oven, 350, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, you know. You want it to be good and dead. Everything in there should, you know, there shouldn't be anything alive. So then, take another one. Of course, we're going to want to soak this. Really get it nice and wet. Here's my existing culture from Ian. They're going to need some, uh, they'll need more food. So, Ian was cool enough to actually layer all of this with what looks like bay leaves. But, these are dwarf purples. I'll go ahead and stick them in there like that. I'll get a big, normally I just get like, just a little dab of stuff, but I want to get a, pretty good sized culture going rather quickly with these. Go ahead and put their little food cap back in their dish. These ones get, now I know this is going to re really sound funny, but they get a food dish water bowl. It's just basically a steaming bowl of sludge just because it's my main My main container that they are multiplying like rabbits in there. So we'll go ahead and give them the turtle bites and osteoform and vionate. Turtle bites will absorb the mold or absorb the moisture fairly quickly and start molding over the next couple of days. The isopods will eat the mold and begin breeding like crazy. Now, since I'm done with this food dish, I'll go ahead and put Put those in there, and I will make a, a kind of like a mud pit for them. This will just add to humidity in here, hose everything down, make sure I get this all good. Do that. Don't worry about them not being able to get in and out of that little food dish. They climb like crazy. So again, if you live in a very humid place, you should probably get a room heater with a thermostat and make sure that you don't have issues like that in your room. A dehumidifier does not work because it'll suck all the moisture out of your tubs and you'll be watering your geckos five times a day. So that's how we set that up and we will go ahead and put a dwarf purple isopods. I know I put the S first because I can't spell. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. 
And don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. This is a new channel, switched over from the Thor Gecko channel, and there are ads because I did money tie, money tie, money. It says money ties. I think they made that word up, I'm not sure. But I am a YouTube partner now, so click on the ads and, you know, help me out, and I'll help you out. We'll get some more videos up. Hope you guys enjoy this and have a great day. See you all in the next one.